We saw a bit of a theme with Manchester United signings this summer. Dan James, Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Harry Maguire. All three were British, all players who wanted to play for United. Young with James and Wan-Bissaka both being 21. Maguire a little bit different as he's a sort of experienced head in defence, but all of them wanted to play for United. So what if that is Solskjaer's plan next summer? What if he intends to really stick to signing British players? It's the international break. There's not much to talk about. And if I'm honest, I don't really want to give any more airtime to that whole Keane and Fergie debate. So I'm doing this video. I'm going to take a look at what could happen next summer if Solskjaer really does decide to stick to signing British players who want to play for United. Now, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and get involved. But let's start talking about this one. Now, before I start, I want to point something out. This isn't me saying this is who I want to see Solskjaer sign next summer. It's more just looking at what if he really does intend to stick to signing British players as a strategy for United. A bit of fun, if anything, and it's the international break, so come on, let's talk about it. But if you're looking at central midfield, which is clearly a big problem for United, I'll be honest, I'm struggling to see any top level players. Where's the next Carrick? Where's the next Skulls in England? I struggle to see it. Now, we were heavily linked with Sean Longstaff over the summer, but that one was a bit weird. Now, on paper, I think Declan Rice stands out as the most obvious candidate. He's only 20 years old, ticking the box for Solskjaer there, and he's certainly grown as a player over the last 18 months. But if I'm honest there with Declan Rice, I've got question marks over whether he's properly a defensive midfielder at all. Now, previously at West Ham, he was a centre-back, but it was Pellegrini who moved him up last season into central midfield, and that's now his position of choice. And he's certainly a far better player there than he was at centre-back. At least he's growing into that position anyway. He's only 20, so he's still very young. But what's your opinion on Rice, both as a defensive midfielder and whether he would improve United's midfield? Because of a midfield pairing of Scott McTominay and Declan Rice, I'm not sure that's good enough for United and what we're trying to achieve in catching up with City, with Spurs and with Liverpool above us. If we're going to aim for that, is signing Declan Rice really the right choice? Now, maybe I'm being harsh. Maybe Rice is better than I'm giving him credit for. And let me know if that is the case. But I think if Solskjaer really is going to stick to signing British players, he's going to struggle in terms of central midfield. Maybe we'll see Sean Garner promoted and he comes through. Maybe we're going to go back to Sean Longstaff and he's going to be the one that comes through. Maybe it will be Rice. Maybe it will be somebody else entirely. But I think... Out of all these three positions I'm looking at, central midfield, number 10 and right wing, central midfield has the fewest top quality British options. If that really is what Solskjaer is going to be sticking to, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Now, things are a little bit different in the number 10 role because for me, there is one absolutely standout candidate that United should be going after regardless of what the strategy is. James Madison should be involved in any strategy that United have next summer. He is a cut above Leicester, a bit like Maguire was, and he would walk into this United eleven and improve it massively. 22 and British, tick, tick, if we're sticking to the Solskjaer Brexit strategy. But looking aside from that, he's just a top-class player. Showed it all last season with Leicester, showing it again this season with Leicester. And number 10 is such a creative void for United, where we're playing Jesse Lingard and Juan Mata. What an upgrade that would be to drop Madison in that team. And hopefully, like Maguire, he wants to play for United. But I think regardless of whether or not we are going after British players, Madison's just sheer quality. And we were linked with him heavily last summer. We were linked with over 100 players. So maybe there's not too much to look into there. But I'd be more surprised than anything, really, if we don't go after Madison next summer. I think he's that good a player and his ceiling He's clearly not reached his ceiling at Leicester. He's only getting better and better. And the platform of United maybe could be what catapults him up to that top level, towards the David Silvers that he's chasing. That's the sort of player he wants to aspire to be, presumably. And maybe United is the better platform to do it. But regardless, as I say, of what we do, we should be going after Madison. He's that good. Given Paul Popper is likely to leave next summer, in my opinion, we need creativity injected into that midfield. He's in the team this year and we already need it. So maybe bringing Madison in at number 10 would allow Solskjaer to just have two ball winners 
as his two central midfielders, players like Rice and Matomane. But let me know what you think about that midfield three. Is that good enough for United? Is Madison good enough for United? Let me know. But that's central midfield we looked at there. That's number 10 we've looked at. And there's one key position that we've needed to strengthen for years. Right wing. And we all know who the candidate is there. Of course, it's Jadon Sancho. Would he already be playing for United if we had Champions League football this year? Potentially. It really looked like he was top of the wish list last summer. But we didn't have Champions League football to offer him. He stayed at Borussia Dortmund. And he might be 19 but he's already got the star quality that could transform United's attack, certainly on the right wing. And he's 19 and English, Solskjaer dipping his biscuit in his Yorkshire tea out of sheer excitement here at the thought of Jadon Sancho joining United. But United fans will share that excitement. That's how much of a star quality I think Sancho has. And all jokes aside, Sancho is the type of player, the quality type of player that United should be going after next summer, like Madison. Maybe different with Rice, with Longstaff in central midfield, but in Madison and Sancho, I could see those two players working out really, really well for United. But I do think, again, signing Sancho depends on whether we finish in the top four or win the Europa League. But one thing is for sure, if we were interested in Sancho last summer, we're going to be even more interested in this summer. What's your take on that starting eleven then? If that's the starting eleven for United next season? You've got Rice coming in, You've got Madison coming in, you've got Sancho coming in. Eight out of 11 players there would be British. Is that the solution to United's problems? Or was the summer just gone, just a coincidence that all three players were British? I don't think it was a coincidence. And I do expect to see Solskjaer go down a similar path next summer. But are the players like Rice, Madison and Sancho the right options? Or should we be looking elsewhere? Especially in central midfield, I want to know what you think. If not Rice, then who? Longstaff? Garner? Stick with what we've got? Hold on to Pogba? Loads of questions. And it's the international break, so we can sort of take a step back and maybe look further ahead. That's what we're doing to next summer. And of course, England are going to be in action, so let's go and see what happens with Sancho and Madison for the England team. Now, if you are new to United People TV and you're still here, make sure you subscribe and get involved. Make sure you get your comments down below as well. Till next time, though, take it easy.